Hello everyone, my name is Ninja Duppify and welcome to the Realm of Titans, Realm of THE Titans actually, Closed Beta. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit about this game, or actually pretty much everything about this game, but not terribly in depth, uh, because this is the first time I've seen it. And, oh, did you notice that the, the t, the t, terribly, I said just then was um, very... Pretty obnoxious. But anyway, so Realm of the Titans, it is a free-to-play MOBA game. It's basically League of Legends with a little bit uh, a little bit of difference. And it's not that big. Um, the, the graphic style you'll see isn't that amazing either. And some of the things, like the item mall that you can... It wants you to buy VIP for, like, saving your hotkeys and extra friend slots. And you get a discount and blah, blah. So the VIP is basically a subscription you can get either 30 day or 90 day. You can only buy this with um, real money. So that you're using this um, AP, you know, which is the real money currency. And you've also got battle points, which I earned from just playing matches. And so you can see in the item mall here, we've got the, we've got heroes. We've got skins. Skins can only, only be bought with, obviously, money. Heroes can be bought with money or the in-game currency. And then we've got this miscellaneous stuff and gift packs and all that. Herp -a -derp. So, this guy looks kind of funny. Look at him. That looks like a... Hmm, I don't know. So, you can solo queue, team queue, and there's obviously a tutorial. There's also meant to be live matches, but I I, I can't seem to um, get into it. Any live matches or even even my match. Oh, I haven't actually played a, a real multiplayer match. But um, live matches doesn't seem to be working as of yet, so it's probably not even implemented. Um, but there should be live match um, replay support as well as your own matches, which will be pretty damn cool. Okay, so we're going to go into an AI mode, and I'm going to run down everything about this game that you should know, and, um, you know, whether or not you should you should actually buy. Oh, not buy. Or you could buy the VIP, I don't know. But from what I've seen so far, you just got to... It's a closed beta, so it could change. Um, <laughs> okay, so we've got we've got all our heroes here. There's all a bunch of different heroes. There's casters, there's tanks, there's damage dealers, there's support. There's there's even a, a dice. Look at this, an anti or something. His name is, and he's he's made up of dice. There's a panda. I mean, it's just this completely nuts. There's a big fish, a tide walker. Um, there's a cat lady, cat lady. Uh oh, I don't want to pick her. No. Oh god, I'm stuck with her now. Can can I reselect hero? Oh good. Okay, so we're gonna choose Castile. He is a robot dude, and he's like, hello, I'm a I'm a douche, I'm a douchebag with big engines on my back and turbo jets and stuff. So here you can select the the mount. I'll show you right as we start in the game. The mount is basically what you float on. Um, when you activate the mount, so the mount makes you go a little bit quicker. Whoa. <laughs> Um, so you can fly on a flower, apparently, and be like, I'm a pretty little robot, kiss me now. And then, like, shoot gas out of your backpack thingy. Uh, I wonder if, oh, I don't think he actually has any jetpack abilities. God damn it. Okay, so we're loading up into the game. I'm versing all of, um, computers, um, because I like talking in binary. So, 101, if anyone wants any 1110011, uh, I'll have some 101. Okay, so... Um, this guy, this guy right here, this big giant tower thing, Majingi, he is called the Guardian Spring Tower. So we've got the Guardian and then these other guys, the Red Evil, oh, they got a, oh, they got a big leather with like a bigger, bigger bra. I can't actually zoom in on, damn it. Okay, so they've, they've obviously censored some of this stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so we've got, um, shops on either side of our, of our starting position. Um, it's obviously got suggested items, so we'll just buy that. Um, you got attacks, whoa, you got attack, consumables, magic, defense, basic, and utility. So I got a whole bunch of different items to build and do all sorts of fun things with. Um, I'm just going to take my first skill, which is actually a gun turret. So this champion is based around creating turrets and um, just positioning them in places that you can actually kill people. So what is the aim of this game? Well, here you can see this is my main base. Now the enemy has one as well. And this is like a Nexus or like anything else in a MOBA where you have to destroy this in the end. This is the thing that wins you the game. Um, either that or a surrender. I'm not actually sure if there is a surrender. Um, there might be, but I have no idea. So we've got three lanes here and these this one extends, you can see all the way and then it goes like a, in a box type shape as opposed to some other MOBAs which do it a bit differently. Um, so it's, there's towers all around the main base and then coming out from the main base in the middle lane there are three of these camps. Now these are called guard camps. So these are basically just like little buildings that you have to destroy 
um, they give you a benefit. So let's say that the enemy destroyed all three of my in all three of my base camps in into in one lane. Um, and this obviously got towers here. They would their minions and their little creeps that spawn out um, will be stronger. And th my creeps in I think just this lane will be weaker so they get a significant advantage once they hit through here i guess that's to speed the game along and and just tell you know let people know that you know you're gonna lose because you're getting pushed too much and let's just make it quicker so i guess that's okay um we'll see how it uh, figures in terms of balance i have no idea so i'm gonna walk in with my robot dude and um and uh, oh, I'm actually I can do nothing with him. There's a, there's a little sh shield here. I don't know if that stops enemies from getting in, but I don't think it does. Maybe you can't get in there without destroying this. So we've got here. This is our control point. Now this is you can see my minions just spawned in there, or the creeps. So this is where your creeps spawn from. They don't spawn from back at your base. They spawn from out here in the in the lane individually. Each lane has one of these. And let's say if the enemy was to come and destroy this, it would it would convert into one of theirs. So their their minions would start spawning from it, and my minions would no longer spawn from there. So you're pretty much screwed once that starts happening, um, because you know I mean I think a lot of these decisions in this game are are based around making a shorter shorter gameplay time, and I guess that's okay. Um, but as long as they don't sort of just break the formula of MOBAs or Dota games. So I've got a friend here, and um, hello, Easy Flamewing. Oh, Flamewing. Boom, boom. Okay. So I'm, I'm probably like, oh Jesus, oh, I'm getting attacked. I'm probably like some illiterate robot with a exhaust on his back. I don't know why it's exhaust on my back, but it, it looks so kind of cool. You gain gold and experience from from creeping minion kills. So like, then you can upgrade all of these skills. So I've got like a detonate the turret. So whoa, don't run in there, silly, silly bastard. And um, let's just get back. I'll explain some more things. And then next we've got Titan skills. Titan skills are basically summoner skills in League of Legends. Except that you can actually choose them and upgrade them inside of the game. So they're, they're not chosen or pre-default before you enter the game. You actually choose them in the game. So you've got offensive, defensive and support um, Titan spells. So you can, you've got meditation, you've got increased mana regen, then you've got a heal, and then you've got thunder power. Um, and your attacks have a chance to cause air effect damage, so there's all things like that. So we'll just grab heal, seems to be the, the noob thing to do. And um, we'll just we'll just set down like a turret, and oh, oh, this guy, oh, please, please, oh, he's level, they're level four. We haven't actually been playing this whole time, so um, I'm not going to win, and I'm certainly not going to play through this whole thing and watch you, and make you guys watch and uh, just sort of cringe as you're watching me lose against some, some bots because I wasn't actually playing. But we can see we've got some kills and things like that and people are getting killed and that's actually our people. So we've got, um, you got your score up here, you got your gold and the game duration and you've got the scoreboard here which also includes what items the enemy has as well as your own, your own teammates and how many kills and all the things like that. And it has, does it have creep kills? Oh, jeez, oh, I won't even tell me what this thing is. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so not everything is perfect in this game yet. It's still in closed beta. So the escape menu is interesting. I know a lot of people who get very angry in MOBA games and they go literally insane. They go out of their mind because they hate people so much on the other end of the computer. Um, it happens to everyone, uh, pretty much everyone. I know... Sometimes it happens to me, but I, I, most of the time I won't actually put a bomb on my head and blow it up just to make a dumb scene. But anyway, so if people are getting stupid in the chat, so let's say if there's some guy who's like, Hello! And then some guy replies, Eat a bag of dicks! And then I was like, oh wait a minute, I don't want to listen to that shit. There's actually a sensor, a sensor filter, that's okay. So if you don't want to listen to his shit, or his crap and his poop, you can actually block the player's conversation. So you can block your own teammates and the enemy from the conversation. You can block at every single one so you have absolutely no communication, which will ensure that you lose the game quicker than... <laughs> no, probably, you probably won't lose the game um, if you're just in a public match, just randomly. Um, so you can add friends through here as well, and you can I think you can add 
I don't know what this red one means. Maybe that's like ignore or something like that, like an enemy or something. I have no idea. And you can actually share operation. This is an interesting thing because let's say if someone goes AFK and he chose share operation, then I'm fairly sure that you can share control between the teammates. So it, I, I don't have any explanation of this currently. I think it's probably not the best to do it in a bot game and maybe try it out in a player game. Uh, but I haven't played enough to... Oh, jeez, I'm level 5 already. I haven't even done anything. That's very strange. I was level 1, and this guy was like level 4. And I've just leveled up to 5, and he's on 6. I haven't done anything. Okay, so that's strange. Q, W, E, and R, and obviously your T for your Titan skills is going to be all your skills. You can rebind them, but as I said before, the VIP pack is the only thing that allows you to save your hotkeys, which... I guess every time you exit the game, you got to redo your hotkeys. That just... Why put that in there? That is just a pain in the ass for anyone. Um, let's... Okay, so you can rewind all your keys, blah, 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 and do it like any other game. So I'm, I'm running this at high, um, maximum, pretty much. And, well, it is maximum. I don't know why I said pretty much. God damn it. Sometimes you know, just doubt yourself when you think... Um, but the game doesn't look terribly amazing. It sort of looks like a... Like a Warcraft 2, maybe with like, uh, I don't know, like a bit, a bit more of a, uh, I don't even know what this art style is, I don't know, so we've got this, this lady, and she's cutting, and she's cutting, hiya, hiya, okay, so that's, that is Realm of the Titans, <laughs> um, uh, I don't, I don't know if this is going to be an amazing game, but it is in close beta right now, so like anything could happen, it could turn out to be, um, Farmville 2.0, which would be just, uh, oh god, um, I hope that never happens, but it probably will. Jesus Christ. I wish I didn't bring that up. I'm sorry for bringing that up, because it's probably going to happen sometime soon. Someone's going to be playing Farmville 2.0. Oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> who cares? Uh, uh, but if you want to play this, you can sign up and um, hopefully get into a key. Um, oh, there's a teleport imaging thingy here. What the hell is that thing? <gasps> Hall of Fame? Oh, Jesus. I don't know what the hell that is. There's obviously minion camps as well around, around all the places, so there can be jungles and things like that. Most of the most of the mechanics work very similar, if not exactly the same as every other MOBA. Um, but it just has a, so, a couple of different things, like you know, like these ba spawning camps and base things like that. So this has been a quick summary look thingamadoo hickey at a Realm of the Titans closed beta. If you want to see any more, um, just let me know in the comments below. Um, we're gonna have a look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this glass glass dude. He's like yes. I will pass down the monkey chica cookers. So my name is Ninja Derpify. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, oh robot with things on his back. Oh.